Let's be very clear, as Liz Truss would say, or as Liz Truss used to say when she was Prime Minister. What you'd expect to hear after that was something which was so vacuous or so uh, opaque, it couldn't possibly be clear. Let, let's be very clear, or let me be very clear. There's only one thing anybody really wants to hear from Liz Truss about her time as Prime Minister, her 45-day period, um, her, the misery of that 45 days when um, disaster was uh, ratcheted up on disaster. The only thing anybody wants to hear from Liz Truss is, I'm sorry. And even then, I don't think after all this time we would believe it or care. The only thing that could possibly uh, generate any positive a uh, review is, I'm sorry, an apology. And is there the slightest hint of an apology at any point in this self-justifying rubbish, in this, um, uh, oh, misery, misery. It is like reading between s stained lavatory paper, having a look at the front page of the Daily Telegraph, the Sunday Telegraph. I, I don't think I'm ever going to pick that newspaper up again without a, without a curl of contempt. Um, and a certain amount of a, a wriggle, a wriggle of dismay and anxiety that, uh, you know, I might get something. I, I, I might catch something from this newspaper now because it simply isn't clean. The only thing we want from this article is an acknowledgement that Liz Trust made so many people's lives worse. Anybody who has a mortgage is in a worse position now because of Liz Truss and because of Kwasi Kwarteng's prodigious package. We may mock it, we may giggle, but that giggle hides um, a sense of misery and a sense of impending disaster. I, I, I know I certainly check my bank balance each month to see how much higher my mortgage is going to get. Liz Truss was a disaster as a Prime Minister. Liz Truss was a disaster as a Foreign Minister. In fact, I would almost suggest that had we got a Foreign Minister with uh, some sense of sanity, we might even have managed to deflect or pause or stop the attack on Ukraine. But no. We had a minister who, ins who, instead of any form of diplomacy, tried to play chicken with Sergei Lavrov. What an absurd excuse for diplomacy. And then we had to watch the spectacle of her parading around the place, trying to outplay Rishi Sunak, trying to outplay these other ministers contending for the keys of number 10. And she won. She won. How on earth, how on earth can anyone take the Conservative Party seriously after giving Liz Truss the keys to number 10, after giving the keys to number 10 to some mad individual who hadn't bothered to read her briefs before sitting down with Sergei Lavrov, who couldn't be bothered and actually, we know, we know very well from what we've heard from civil servants that Liz Truss did not bother to read her briefs. She couldn't be bothered. She sent things back and said, make it smaller. I can't understand this whole sentence. Lazy and mindless. And in the end, a liability. So the only thing anybody really wants to hear from Liz Truss is the single word, sorry.